All right, today we're building a 30-team MLB with cities that do not presently have a Major League Baseball team. Thanks to whoever it was for the idea in the comments. I remember seeing it, but now I can't find it to mention your name. A little follow-up to a recent video I did where we built a 28-team MLB from scratch using mostly cities that already have Major League teams. This is something I never really thought of doing before. I can't imagine why this would ever need to happen. Maybe there's a split in the MLB organization, someone to start another MLB under different rules, but they can't start up in any major league cities. Or maybe there was a major disaster and all the MLB cities were wiped out. Whatever the reason, we need 30 cities to support a major league franchise that do not currently have one. I won't be putting teams in the suburbs of existing MLB cities. That would be too easy. It has to be a different metropolitan area. Originally, I wanted to select cities in completely different combined statistical areas, but I found that difficult to do, especially in the Northeast. So in a few cases, the cities I've chosen are in the same area as major league cities. Different metro areas, but still very close. I wanted this to closely resemble the structure of Major League Baseball, so I'll put these teams in two separate leagues, each with an East, West, and Central division. First I'll list the cities, then I'll organize them into leagues and divisions. Some of these cities are serious candidates for MLB expansion, others are not. I'm not making the case for all 30 of these cities to get an expansion team, but feel free to discuss why each of these cities can or cannot support a Major League team in the comments. On my video about rebuilding MLB, I started with four teams in the East and slowly expanded to 28 teams across the country. In this one, we're just going to 30 teams right away. And since I started in the East last time, I'll start in the West this time. One city is Vancouver, BC, third largest metro area in Canada, largest in Western Canada, home to a high single A team. Vancouver often gets mentioned as an MLB expansion candidate. It would be the first team in Western Canada. The population is large enough, and if I were to rank these cities according to their expansion possibilities, Vancouver would definitely be in the top 10. Another city that's often mentioned in expansion discussions is Portland. It's the 25th biggest metro area in the US. There's a group there trying to bring in a major league team and have a new stadium built. In the absence of a Seattle team, I'd expect a rivalry to grow between the teams in Portland and Vancouver. Down to California, where presently there are five major league teams in three large metro areas. And here we'll have a couple cities that are very close to those areas. One is San Jose, in the Bay Area, but not in the same metropolitan area as San Francisco and Oakland. It's definitely big enough with just over 2 million residents. The problem is the Bay Area already has two teams. They've tried to get the A's to move there, but the Giants will not allow it. Two hours from there is another city that's got the size, but also hurt by the fact that the A's and Giants are nearby, and that is Sacramento. They host a AAA team, the Rivercats, who averaged over 12,000 fans per game in 2001. However, attendance has fallen steadily nearly every year since then. Next we have Fresno. This is the first city on here that cannot be a serious MLB expansion candidate. With just over a million in its metro area, it's good enough for the league we're putting together here. That ranks 56th in the country. They've got a minor league team, the Grizzlies, that was unfortunately reclassified as single A after being triple A for over 20 years. The last team in California goes to the Inland Empire. That's the metro area of San Bernardino, Riverside, and several other cities. It's actually the largest metro area in the U.S. that doesn't have a major sports franchise. The reason being that it's right next to L.A. I don't know which city you'd put the team in, so I'll just call this team Inland. Their rival would most certainly be the team in San Jose. So now we have our own version of Giants and Dodgers. Out of California, but still in the West, we have Albuquerque. This would be the first major sports team in the state of New Mexico, so it would have the support of the entire state. They have a AAA team, the Isotopes, who play at an elevation of 5,100 feet, about the same as Coors Field, so you can expect a lot of home runs there. Salt Lake City, a large, growing city, gives good support to its other professional sports teams. Not sure about interest in baseball, though. I keep hearing mixed opinions about that. Some say there's plenty of interest, others say no one cares about it there. If you're from Utah, let us know which one it is. Las Vegas, very seriously being considered for relocation or expansion right now, so of course it makes our list here. It's fun to imagine a rivalry starting between Vegas and Salt Lake City, since Utah and Sin City have very different reputations. Right now Vegas has NFL and NHL, Salt Lake City has NBA and MLS. One more team in the West, and for this we go all the way up to Calgary, a city of good size that now gives us two cities in Western Canada. But distance would be a problem here, so like the Seattle Mariners are now, Calgary would be the faraway city in this league, with no neighbors nearby. Okay, we're up to 10 teams now, so it's time to build the West Divisions. In the AL West, we have Sacramento, Fresno, Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, and Calgary. In the NL West, Vancouver, Portland, San Jose, Inland, and Albuquerque. 
Now it's time to fill up the central divisions. Let's start in Texas. San Antonio gets one. That's one of the largest cities in America, often mentioned as an expansion candidate. Growing quickly, too. And they've proven they can support a major professional sports team. I usually consider San Antonio and Austin as the same expansion bid since only one of them would get selected, because the cities are so close to each other. Maybe even a joint bid with a stadium built between the two cities. But in this imaginary league where Fresno and Albuquerque have teams, it would be crazy to leave one of these cities out. So I give the next one to Austin, one of the 30 largest metro areas in the U.S. and one of the fastest growing, and until last year it didn't have any major professional sports teams. I was thinking about a third city in Texas. It seems kind of strange having two teams in such a large state so close to each other, but I'm going to stop there. And I would put them in separate leagues. I know MLB currently has both Texas teams in the AL, but the Astros were an NL team not that long ago. In the usual major league model, if a state has two teams, you put one in each league. Just north of Texas, Oklahoma City. Big enough population, and they already support an NBA team and a AAA team. A few things holding it back from being a real major league expansion city, but for this league we're creating, it's definitely good enough. The whole state of Oklahoma would get behind this team. And not sure if people in North Texas root for Oklahoma teams, but maybe they could draw support from there too. Omaha, the city that hosts the College World Series every year. They've got a big new ballpark. They just hosted a regular season major league game a few years ago. And there are no other major professional sports teams to compete with. Best of all, it would be great to see Omaha and Oklahoma City begin a rivalry in baseball carried over from the Husker-Sooners rivalry they used to have in college football. Back down to the south, we'll put one team in New Orleans, a city that already has NBA and NFL teams. It's got the size, seems like it would be a good atmosphere for a baseball team, but it's another one I hear differing opinions about when talking about how a team would be embraced there. Some say it would do great, others say baseball has no chance in the Big Easy. Nashville, this might actually become a major league city before too long. It's got the size, the money, and people there trying to make it happen. Three other major professional sports teams do all right there, and a AAA team too. So of course Music City makes it into this league. Speaking of cities in Tennessee famous for music, Memphis also gets a team. And why not? It's almost as big as Nashville, not too close to it, and they support an NBA team. Of course in the real world only one city in Tennessee gets a team, and Nashville is the better choice. But this league has room for both and it would be the only major professional league where both cities have a team. Louisville, Kentucky, home of the Louisville Slugger, so it's already got a strong association with baseball. They've got a AAA team called the Bats, though I think Sluggers would be a better name. A baseball team seems like a good fit for this city, though a few have said that an NBA team is more likely there. Indianapolis, sometimes brought up as a possible expansion city. It's a pretty big town. It's got NFL, NBA, and motorsports are huge there. AAA baseball does all right there too. We've got room for Indy in this league. Columbus. We can't go to Cleveland or Cincinnati, so of course Columbus becomes the first choice in Ohio. In fact, if there weren't already two major league teams in Ohio, this would be a realistic candidate for a major league expansion team. And that gives us 10 cities in the middle of the country. In the AL Central, San Antonio, Nashville, Louisville, Indianapolis, and Columbus. It's fun to imagine a Louisville-Indy rivalry and how divided fans in southern Indiana would be. NL Central, Austin, Memphis, Oklahoma City, Omaha, and New Orleans. The Texas and Tennessee teams would have their in-state interleague rivals. Oklahoma City and Omaha would have theirs. New Orleans would probably start something with Austin or Memphis, or just quietly win the division every year. And that leaves the East. Starting in Florida, two cities here. One is Orlando, the 23rd largest metro area in the country, third largest in Florida behind Miami and Tampa. So if we're going to try another place in the Sunshine State, this has to be it. Not only a lot of people living there, but lots of tourists as well. And the next largest metro in Florida, Jacksonville. 39th largest in the U.S., home to an NFL team and a AAA team, the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, and close to the border with Georgia. That's important because we can't use Atlanta in this league. Raleigh, North Carolina, 42nd largest metro area in the U.S., and growing quickly. Already home to an NHL team. The city of Durham is also part of this area, home to the famous AAA team, the Durham Bulls. Charlotte. This is an obvious choice here since it could be a real expansion city. A big growing metro area. NFL and NBA teams do well there. This will give us two cities in North Carolina. Something that's not going to happen in the real world, but here it's okay. Virginia. Could be Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Newport News. No single dominant city in the area, so we'll just call it Virginia. This area has tried unsuccessfully in the recent past to get a team from a major pro sports league, including MLB when they tried to get the Expos to move there. So we know they want a team. 
Top 40 in population, and the AAA team does well there. Now we reach the Northeast. We can't go to New York, Boston, or Philly. Or New Jersey, since almost all of it is part of the New York or Philadelphia metro areas. So we replace them with a few smaller cities. First, we look to Connecticut. The three largest cities all belong to the New York metro area. Hartford does not. Its own metro of just over a million qualifies it for this league. The city's home to the headquarters of many insurance companies, so there's good potential for sponsors there. Probably the stadium would be named after one of them. They've got double-A baseball there now, and for a couple decades had an NHL team. Providence, Rhode Island, part of Boston's combined statistical area, but has its own metro area of 1.6 million people, ranking in the top 40. If you go back almost 100 years, Providence had an NFL team called the Steamrollers. A little later, they had an NBA team of the same name. So you might be tempted to give that name to their baseball team. But I would go with the Providence Grays, a National League team they had in the late 1800s. Later, they had a minor league team of the same name that Babe Ruth played for before playing at the major league level with the Red Sox. Buffalo, one of the top 50 metro areas in the country, already home to NFL and NHL franchises, a well-supported AAA team that plays at Salem Field, the highest capacity AAA park in the country, and can be expanded to major league size. It was home to the Toronto Blue Jays in 2020 and the first half of 2021, beating three other teams in attendance. It's already a proven baseball city. Across the border, we go with Montreal, Canada's second largest city and until 18 years ago, home to the Montreal Expos of MLB. It's one of the top candidates for expansion or relocation of an MLB franchise now. And you can argue that maybe they shouldn't be given a second chance. But for this, where we give a team to 30 non-MLB cities, there should be no argument. And without Toronto, it seems that Ontario should get a team here. And for that, we go to Ottawa, the nation's capital and fourth largest city, home to NHL and CFL franchises. This now gives us four Canadian cities, two in the west, two in the east. And 30 teams overall. In the AL East, Hartford, Providence, Montreal, Charlotte, and Jacksonville. Due to their locations, it seems like Hartford, Providence would be a good replacement for Yankees Red Sox. Then you have one team in Canada, one in Florida, and one in between. A lot like the current AL East. And here's the rest of the American League in case you forgot. In the Central, San Antonio, Nashville, Louisville, Indianapolis, and Columbus. In the West, Sacramento, Fresno, Salt Lake City, Las Vegas, and Calgary. NL East, Ottawa, Buffalo, Raleigh, Virginia, and Orlando. Ottawa and Buffalo would have a good cross-border rivalry, and Ottawa would look forward to its interleague series with Montreal. Raleigh would have Virginia nearby and Charlotte for interleague, and Orlando's biggest series would be interleague with in-state rival Jacksonville. And the rest of the National League one more time. NL Central, Austin, Memphis, Oklahoma City, Omaha, and New Orleans. NL West, Vancouver, Portland, San Jose, Inland, and Albuquerque. That's how I would do it. Let me know how you would do it down in the comments. That's all for this one, and until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.